balance equation for MMSQ MMS where the other parameters may be any and from this detailed balance equation we could obtain the, the expression of P greg of N which is related to P greg of zero by this relationship When we want to obtain the greg of zero, this is the expression of the greg of, of zero, which comes from the normalization condition. If this denominator is finite, then the Q is stable. If uh, this denominator is uh, not finite, then that means that the Q is not stable. Then, if uh, the Q is stable, the knowledge of the graph of n for all n from 0 to capital N and remember that capital N may be either finite or infinite well the knowledge of the graph of n permits to obtain other useful information these useful information are for instance L. L means line. The length of the line is the mean number of customers in the system. And the mean number of customers in the system is given by the sum with N going from 1 to capital N of N times pi greg of N that is of N times the probability of having exactly N customers in the system this is, I repeat, the mean number of customers in the, in the system if the Q is stable if the queue is not stable, the number of customers may go to infinity. The mean number of customers in the queue, in the queue is equal to the mean number of customers in the system minus the customers in service. That is, is equal to this sum n minus s n minus s is the number of customers in the queue times pi greg of n <coughs> and this expression is summed for n going from s plus 1 to capital N please uh, try to see that the difference between L and LQ is not S. Okay? Moreover, we may consider other queuing parameters. W is the mean time in the system for elementary queues is the same that we could obtain by the snapshots in the uh, simulation 
but uh, this is only for elementary cues and in the simulation we can take any type of process. Then W is the mean time in the system and WQ is the mean time in the queue. W is uh, connected to the mean number of customers in the system by this formula which is one of Little's formulas. The greater is the number of customers in the system, the longer is the time in the system. And the ratio between the two is lambda. If lambda is constant, okay. If lambda is dependent of, on n, you have to put here the mean lambda. The same relationship between L and W exists between LQ, length of the Q, and WQ, mean time in the Q. Right? The relationship between W and WQ is this W equal to WQ plus 1 over mu. This is well understandable as the, the time in the system is equal to the time in the queue plus the service time. Okay? These are little formulas and permit to obtain all parameters, all general Q parameters from one of them. Right? If I have L, I may have, I may have W, I may have WQ, and I may have LQ. I, if I need only one of them to know all of them. Now, let us try to obtain all interesting parameters from the most common cues. And the most common cue is the cue MM1 First in, first out, infinite, infinite. Let us consider for one minute. <coughs> Take the Q and memory less, memory less, one, <coughs> one server. First in, first out infinite capacity of the system and, sorry, infinite capacity of the system and infinite population. In this case, the value of lambda is not dependent of on n, but it is constant. That is, lambda of n is equal to lambda and mu of n is equal to mu. Okay? The general formula for pi grec of n is the following. Pi grec of n is uh, pi grec of, sorry, pi grec of n is equal to 
lambda 0, lambda 1, lambda n minus 1, divided by mu of 1, mu of 2, mu of n, times pi grep of 0. In our case, that is, when lambda and mu are constant, I should pronounce mu as uh, the Greek letter is mu, but anyway, I'll go fast. Then, for our case, for this case, the grep of n 